Well, cutting across to visuals that we are getting from Srinagar at the moment, protests have erupted in Srinagar where a union of daily wage workers has hit the streets against the Mufti Muhammad Said government demanding a regularization of uh, their uh, dues. Uh, this, uh, uh, Meet Farid is joining me on the phone line with more information. But, uh, Farid, we have seen protests of daily wage workers for the past few months now. Why has the government not been able to solve this issue? Well, it's these uh, daily wager unions, uh, basically daily wagers from uh, the PHE, uh, the contractual teachers and other uh, departments of the government have been on the warpath with the government for quite some time now. Now, this is not the first time we've seen them on the streets. In fact, from the last 10, 15 days, ever since uh, the seat of government moved from Jammu to Srinagar, they have been on the streets. Now, they're demanding regularization and, importantly, uh, release of their pending dues. Now, so, once again, to press for their demands, uh, they had planned this march from Sheri Kashmir Park uh, in Srinagar in Lal Chok to uh, main Lal Chok. However, police intercepted them and, uh, as you could be seeing in the visuals, uh, uh, police used bait and charge, uh, tear smoke shells, and uh, uh, in fact, water cannons also to disperse them. Uh, uh, and uh, in the process, also have uh, detained almost two to three uh, dozen of them. Now, uh, as uh, we have been reporting, in fact, uh, this is probably for the fourth time since uh, uh, the la in the last uh, two weeks that these people are out on the streets. Now, they are blaming that the government has time and again backtracked on their promises, and in fact, uh, uh, Previously, uh, in fact, this is not only in this regime, but previously in the Omar Abdullah government also, we saw similar scenes when these protesters were out on the streets and demanding. However, it seems that uh, there is a total communication uh, uh, breakdown between them and the government. They're not bringing them on the table, the Mufti Muhammad Said government, and that's why they're saying that they are forced to really protest every other day to come out and uh, to press for their demands. And today as well, uh, the police had to use force to stop them from moving towards Lal Chok. And as you can see, uh, after some time, it was free for all. The police used bait uh, uh, and charge, tear smoke shells and water cannons to disperse them, while almost two to three dozen of these protesters have been detained. Back to you. Right, Farid. Now, what is the government side of the story? Why are they not able to engage these workers? What are they telling you? Because as you're mentioning yourself, we have seen these contract workers come out and protest against the government time and again. Well, yes, absolutely, you're absolutely right. Uh, there seems to be a complete breakdown of uh, talks between these two uh, warring factions. In fact, uh, if you talk of the government, uh, they say that uh, they have, uh, in fact, they have, they're in complete know of, of uh, their demands. But the fact is that it will take some time before all these demands are met because uh, this is not uh, a small issue. In fact, these are thousands of contractual, uh, lab, uh, contractual teachers. If you talk of uh, other departments in the PHE, there are, again, hundreds of uh, daily wagers, uh, casual laborers. So it is a big issue. So it won't, uh, it, they just cannot... Uh, uh, basically come out and uh, complete their demands or give them uh, permanent jobs uh, uh, overnight. So it will take some time. But uh, the fact is that these uh, laborers, uh, these uh, contractual teachers or the PHE daily wagers, the, what they allege is that the time and again, the government has backtracked. Uh, they have promised a lot. But when it comes to translating those words or promises into action on the ground, nothing has happened. So that is uh, what uh, the, the demand is. And in fact, uh, lately they're saying that they have uh, absolutely uh, not been approached by the government or uh, there is no sign from the government side that they are willing or are serious to really bring them on the table and uh, start a negotiation. So that really is what is forcing them to come out on the streets every other day. And now it seems that the challenge is bigger because already all these unions uh, are confronting the government. The Mufti Muhammad Said government before coming to power had promised that they will take their issues seriously, bring them to the table and try to resolve whatever the genuine demands are. But right now, uh, absolutely no uh, channels of communication between the two. And that is why we're seeing that these people every other day are out on the streets and protesting. And then the, there are these ugly scenes. Now today as well, as you could be seeing in the visuals, they have been lucky charged. Many of them have been detained. Water cannons, tear gas, smoke shells. So clearly right. it is the uh, law and order break breakdown in a way. And now it's high time that the Muslim Muhammad Said got really takes it seriously because uh, the way uh, these uh, these, these, uh, mm. uh, the anger among these protesters is such that they're saying that they are unrelenting and they and will as you're pointing out, up. Farid, the anger is only increasing as the government is unable to solve their problems. Thank you very much for joining us for the moment.